Hello friends, today we're going to look at Mid Journey in Reverse. Um, it's a new feature called Describe and while it's not revolutionary in any way, it is actually a pretty good feature that will help you learn prompting. And it's also very good for inspiration or just uh, finding a style of a particular image. Doesn't matter if it's AI generated or not, it could be a photograph or a painting. And uh, this way you can find that style. And while we're on the subject of reversing, I was getting in my car this morning, I put my car in reverse and I thought to myself, hmm, this takes me back. So it's really simple this. you just type describe, press enter, you drop your image in, and then you go. And now mid journey will work and look at the image you have, and it will give you a couple of prompts that it feels resembles your image. And like it does with images, it will give you four of them. So we have the first prompt here. A woman in neon glow at night in the style of light amber, azure, sharp focus, edgy, 32K. That, that, that's a lot. Ultra HD, contrasting shadows, colorized portraiture, aspect ratio 151 by 84. Now I know that when I prompted this image initially, this used to be a 16 by 9. The reason that it's 151 by 84 now is because mid journey doesn't give you exact pixel sizes. So a 16 by nine might be off by a little bit. That makes it return to 158 by 84. So let's take this actually, and let's take this prompt and let's run it, see what we get. We also have a, a couple of other ones. What's most interesting are some of the styles here. We have um, lightning wave matte photo cyberpunk and here we have a couple of in this style of a dark sea and light amber synthwave marcin sobas bob ringwood a couple of names i haven't heard of but that mid journey obviously has trained from and in the fourth one we get bob ringwood again in general you seem to be getting the same style when you describe from an image and as you can see down here it's not finished yet it's just a 93 percent but here we are and we have a pretty similar image. Let me pull up the other one next to, there we go. Have a smaller one here. I mean, looking at all these four, I'd say they're in the same style. Now you can't retain like a model or, or a perfect image that you like and just adapt it, but uh, it's a pretty good way to get, well, more styles and you can learn prompting. Say you find an image that you like that you, really don't know how to get yourself then well just drop it in and see how it can be made in mid journey let's try another one which has a a very different style so this image i'm gonna make it larger for you so you can see what's going on so here's an illustration from a game for example it's a castle in the background here it's very colorful and I actually used as, this as a thumbnail for one of my pixel art videos. Now this isn't pixel art, but that particular image was made into pixel art. So let's see what Mid Journey says here. It's a little small, but bear with me. I might zoom this in in, the, in edit. Here you have an old man looking at a castle. Old man, eh? How can you see that from behind? Well, maybe. Yeah, it says old man here, the girl, a person. Anyway, old man looking at castle and sunset in the style of neon color palette, fictional landscapes, PS1 graphics. I can't believe how beautiful this is. I like this. This is a nice prompt. I'm going to use this in the future. I can't believe how beautiful this is. It's like, I can't believe it's um, butter, you know? Maybe that's Mid Journey's new um, tagline. I can't believe how beautiful this is. Hey John, just look at all these images I made. They're amazing. They're all made with Mid Journey. I can't believe how beautiful this is. It's like a Mid Journey commercial right there. Colorful washes, dusty piles, flat perspective. And again, aspect ratio, super weird, but uh, doesn't matter. And the other ones, we have some names. Becky Cloonan, Greg Rucka, Lowish, no idea. But I like that two of these actually said PS1 graphics. So that's kind of cool. I wouldn't call this PS1 graphics, but I mean, maybe that works. Try the second one here then. Let's imagine that and see if we can get closer to um, this original style. Now it's a very rainbowy colorful style 
and I don't think we have this yeah colorful illustrations. Mm, we'll see. Maybe the colorful washes up here would help. The fourth one at least has a neon color palette. But I mean, you could bash together from several of them to find something that works for you. And fast forward. As that is loading, a quick word from this video sponsor. And as a thank you for watching this ad, I'm going to provide you with a dad joke at the end. Wirestock is the easiest way to sell photos, videos, and vectors online. At least so they claim. But I tried it. And to be honest, it is fairly easy. You upload and sell content on the world's largest marketplaces. For example, Adobe Stock, Pond5, and Deposit Photos. There are other options as well, but not all of them accept AI generated photos. Some of these do. Just remember to tag your images AI generated if they are. Now, the part with Wirestock that I like is that you can just submit your images and do nothing else. You don't have to put any keywords, captions, tags, or whatever. Now, they do take a commission on this, which is 15%, but 85% still goes to you. Your photos will be uploaded to your personal portfolio and you'll be essentially creating a space that is uniquely yours. You can even link this to other people and sell your prints. Once you've been up and running for a while, you will have detailed data of your earnings inside Wirestock. So check it out now in the link below. Now here's the promised dad joke since you watched the video and hopefully click the link. I had to give up my career as a photographer. I just kept losing focus. There we go. We have finished and here we have the final image it's um it's not as close as the first test we did but it's close ish we got uh you know the pinkish yellowish sky i would say it's okay it's not as good as the other one but it's still kind of cool you know composition wise it's you know get the same feeling the castle in the background etc when you have the character you know standing there pensive going ooh dreamy i think it's just the color that kind of missed a little bit and you can see the outlines are, are very strong on these ones. You have the black outlines. This is more clean. But again, okay, let's take one of the images here. Let's take the third one here. Let's run that through describe. See what that would give us. Mid journey bot is thinking. And this is kind of a cool way to work, just like you can do with images and like iterate image to image to image here you can iterate with prompts so you can take an image and uh, render it and go back with describe and, and keep iterating and finding more depth in your prompts and that's kind of cool and now with midjourney you don't have to have the like two million word long stuff that you have in stable fusion so try and keep it short here we have uh we have a woman with blue blue hair in three of them front of light into the style of modern pop culture we have some names photorealistic accuracy we have a camera which is the fujifilm xt4 which is kind of cool because i'm using the fujifilm xt3 this this one here you can't see it obviously but uh, you can see me through this through the power of internet and the magic of modern cameras we have urban and edgy softbox lighting pool core what's pool core i've never heard of that is that like a swimming pool that kind of pool core i have no idea we lost the 30 32k resolution we're back to a measly 8k now but i'm okay with that emotionally charged portraits okay fair enough we have a couple of different cameras here we have a fuji up here we have a Sony Alpha A7 here. We had a Sony F. No, that's a that's a lens. I think yeah, that's a lens. Anyway, let's run the the one with my Fuji here. Well, not my Fuji, but uh, the newer model of my Fuji. Oh, we forgot. I can't believe how beautiful this is, man. I I need to re-record the whole video. Anyway, that's waiting to start. And again, let's fast forward. All right, so we have finished again with this one. I'd say it's similar to the one that we have here, which is this one. So this is also a good way of getting variations more than the ones you can get in, in the usual variations in mid journey. However, we are, let's get the original back up here. It was still fairly close. We're more realistic, I would say. I think it's uh, pretty good. They will use this for, um, thumbnail i guess you'll see if i use this when i uh, publish the video maybe i've picked something else who knows that's usually the most i wouldn't say time intensive but i th think thought intensive process picking a thumbnail or creating a thumbnail i usually take an image that is made and 
both mid journey and stable fusion together i kind of mix and match a little bit see what uh what's what anyway here is an image that is like Finding Nemo kind of style Pixar animation of a fish. And we get a cute fish that is under the water in the style of Disney animation. Eerily realistic, emotional intensity, colorized realistic lighting, Ward Kimball, light crimson and sky blue. So you get a lot of cool stuff that can help you learn prompting. And it's again, it's great for inspiration. Just looking up what we, what we had previously, it looks like it'll never or, or rarely return to the original, but we're fairly close and it's good to get the similar style of an image. And it's just funny how you can find these little prompt words that uh, you can keep using. Here we have, yeah, blink and you miss it detail. That's one of those, uh, I can't believe how beautiful this is. Blink and you miss it detail. I'm gonna use this. Give me your best, uh, funny prompt words that actually help in the comments below. I'd love to know. Imagine, and there we go, a character is playing in the ocean with an orange fish in the style of Disney animation. Realistic depiction of light, light purple and red, emphasis on facial expression, colorful animation stills, blink and you miss a detail and exact imprecision. This actually was prompted as a Pixar scene, but it doesn't matter. Modern Disney, modern Pixar, Sometimes that's similar, yeah? These are kind of cool. Here we have the original up top here. And I think they're fairly similar to what we had previously. I like this. When I made this image, I focused a lot on trying to get this sort of lighting, the crepuscular rays or the god rays here. Um, we didn't get, you know, this the particular rays here, but we got some good lighting coming in. I think this is fairly cool as well. So we had a quick look at uh, Mid Journey's new Describe feature. I hope it will help you learn prompting or just, you know, find a style of an image that you like. I think that will be much quicker than trying to create by yourself. This way, I mean, in Stable Fusion you have like the PNG info, you can just drag and drop an image and get that exact prompt if the person actually saved it. Uh, most, uh, most people do. But uh, here's a way to take any image, whether it be generated, photographed, painted, whatever. And that's what's cool about this. So I hope you had uh, fun here and you learned something. If you want to, feel free to like and subscribe. But uh, I'm not your boss. Do whatever you want. As always, have a good one. See you in the next video.